Hello, everyone. Welcome again to another quick beer review from Craft Beer Nation. I'm Matt Miller. Very excited about another Virginia beer I've got in the can here today. This is a Crucial Crucial Taunt Taunt. This is a double dry hopped version of their double IPA, Crucial Taunt. This is uh, essentially the same malt build from what I uh, have read on Facebook from them. Uh, as their Crucial Taunt, it's an 8% uh, AB, uh, ABV double IPA. This is a double dry hopped version of it, and the insane thing I saw on the web was that they uh, claim to use 7.5 pounds of hops per barrel in the fermenting process for this, in the secondary for this. So uh, that is just absolutely insane. I uh, don't know if you're going to be able to see it, but this thing was canned today, 7 19, 16. So this is, can is fresh. So I'm going to dive right into this thing here. I've had their Crucial Taunt uh, before. I don't think I reviewed it, but I have had their Crucial Taunt before, so I'll be able to do a little bit of a comparison for you here if that's what you're in for. Um, I don't know if they've made this beer, bef this Crucial Crucial Taunt Taunt before, or if this is the first time they've done this particular one, but I know Master Shredder is their wheat IPA, and they have um, done a Master Master Shredder Shredder, so I guess you can kind of understand that from th th some of the other beers. You can see here, this thing is um, orange in color, uh, really bright orange. Um, I poured it kind of rough out of the can, uh, so it came out with a big two-finger head here, but I don't think that's uh, terribly characteristic of an over-carbonated beer. I think it was just a bad pour on my part, but uh, it's an uh, off-white uh, head, really just a, um, the, the same tones as the color of the beer itself. Um, from what I've heard, this thing is a real nose blast um, from the people that were drinking it on tap there at the, at the brewery, but... Uh, and that is definitely uh, what is in the glass here. This thing is citrus out the wazoo in the aroma. I mean, wow. Orange, orange peel, bitter citrus. Some sweet, some sweet kind of pineapple notes to it as well, but really just, oh man, just big orange blossom like a like a I don't know if you've smelled blossoms on an orange tree when they're when they're flowering before but really that kind of that kind of bright aromatics so uh, the head is dissipated back down to about a one and a half finger head here so it's working its way down I'm ready to dive in and give this thing a taste cheers yeah that's dangerous that is an 8% beer that drinks like not 8%. That is, uh, there is no alcohol. A little bit after the bitterness to the hops dissipates, um, there's lots of, lots of orange peel, bitterness, hop con uh, to it. And then after that kind of washes over, it's left it, you, you're left with the double IPA um, bittering finish. I mean, it's still clinging to the back of my tongue here. Um, boy, I I don't I don't find malt balance in it anywhere. I don't think that's what they were going for here. This was a a juicy crusher right in the face, all the hop you can take, um, but it isn't edgy. It isn't it isn't overwhelming. You know, I, I'm one of those people that gets ammonia from from Simcoe and some hops uh, varieties. I'm I'm not getting any of that. I'm getting bright citrus hop presence here from an incredibly fresh beer. So I mean, that really plays into um, the brightness of the hops. Um, you know, this is this isn't as juicy in the te in the taste as. Uh, the dirt nap was that I have reviewed in the past. This was this is definitely more of a balanced beer uh, than that. I said it wasn't balanced and it is balanced, but I mean it's more beer tasting um, than that one was like a glass of orange juice. This one is um, this is a beer with a, a grapefruit rind, orange rind finish to it. And and I haven't had a sip in a few minutes and it's still sticking to the back of my throat. The body here is I would say medium. Uh, I mean there is a considerable amount of malt in this beer to be able to give you 8%. So it's got kind of a, um, not like a dogfish head sticky mouthfeel, but 
just a just a medium bodied um, a mouth feel like you would get from a, a double a, a double IPA. There's a little bit of cloud uh, cloudiness to this, but nothing like some of their other big turbid beers. Um, this will looks just kind of gives a little more of a a wheat beer kind of finish to it in appearance. But boy, the mm. yeah, this is this is just a more aromatic big brother version of their crucial taunt. So once you get past the big nose, once you get past that that initial citrus blast of hop, then it kind of settles down and it becomes more of that uh, strong finishing uh, crucial taunt. So this beer is really just uh, out of the park for me. Um, I definitely give this thing four and a half CBN caps. Um, this is a thing that I'm going to have absolutely no problem drinking through the uh, four of them that I've got uh, for myself here. Uh, I hope I don't do that all in one night, but who, you know who's saying the night is young? So uh, that is a four and a half CBN cap beer right there, and that is a beautiful, beautiful double IPA from Vale Brewing in Richmond, Virginia. So if you get a chance to check them out, um, they do their releases. I think it four o'clock on Tuesdays. Uh, just about every week they've got one or two beers that you can buy uh, in cans over the counter. So uh, check them out. Check out our other reviews on Craft Beer Nation's YouTube page. I think you can subscribe on one of the buttons here somewhere on the bottom. Uh, check us out in all the social media places. Just look for Craft Beer Nation and we're all around the web. So until my next review, everybody, cheers.